good morning. It's about uh, 5.30 a.m. Just passed. Just heading to uh, the start of our ride today. Uh, it's gonna be a long one. We're looking at about 450 kilometers once everything's all said and done. Heading up and out to Cottage Country. And uh, yeah, this is kind of the last big training ride before the Granite Anvil 1200 in uh, just under two weeks that I'm taking part of. So, uh, last chance to get some real good mileage under the legs. Let's see how it goes. He's, he's just behind you. He was doing something. I dropped my sunscreen, so I had to turn around and go back for a minute. And I'm gonna spit out the back again. <sighs> yeah, just can't go uphill like the rest of them can. One day I'll get there. Beautiful day though. Absolutely gorgeous. in the morning. Just passed through the first checkpoint of the day in uh, Eudora. About uh, 100 kilometers into the ride. It's a uh, lovely day so far. Got dropped from the uh, kind of fast moving group of six who are in the front. Just kind of riding solo for a bit now. I know there's some faster guys up behind, so I'm sure they'll catch up with me soon. I'll have a group to ride with again. It's uh, no complaints to ride alone here. Pepperlaw. Pepperlaw? Pepperlaw.
1042. Just riding around uh, Lake Simcoe. Just past through Beaverton. And uh, yeah, probably gonna stop for some food. The next city. I think there's control. Either way, more of this. The dot just coming up to our second checkpoint which is uh, about 160 kilometers in I'm starting to get pretty hungry <laughs> Not long, man. You do it. Really? Man. All right. Just passed through uh, checkpoint two. Just over 100 miles in, 166 kilometers. And midday, just had a little lunch, feeling good. Time to press on. Let's see where we go. That's not good. Stuck on the side of the road until this recovers. We'll give it a couple of minutes, see what happens. This is uh, the second time this has happened to me in, well, two long rides, so. Uh, it could be a bit of a problem. No, well, I think it should be fine. Let's give it time to recover and then hit back the road again. So we just left through uh, checkpoint three, four, somewhere around there. Fair Mounts, Fairport, something. I don't know. We're about uh, 230 kilometers in. Heading to Bob Cajun now. That's uh, next stop in probably about an hour. I was riding with some guys and just got sat out the back as soon as the hill started going up. So. They stay behind in town. I'm getting a bit of a head start, but I feel like they're gonna catch up and dust me soon. Good stuff. Alright, 
Uh, it's about 6.30. I'm about uh, 45 minutes to an hour away from the next checkpoint. This is Lindsay, Ontario at 300 kilometers. Uh, I can't come soon enough. Whoa, it's been a tough day. That's the Lindsay Water Tower. Got to be getting close now. All right. On the last push home, 100 kilometers left. If I can do it in an hour, sorry, three hours and 40 minutes, I can catch the last train and take a train home from the finish. Otherwise, I'm riding an extra hour and a bit to get home, which I don't want to do anymore. So, go for the best. My math was completely wrong. I think I said three and a half hours. I have four hours and 20 minutes. I don't know. It's still going to be tough. Five kilometers to go. Predominantly downhill. Feeling good about making this midnight train now. Getting dark. You see glimmers of civilization though. Won't be too long before we're back in uh, the suburbs, at least in Toronto. Chilly. Uh, just uh, another excuse to go a bit harder, get home faster, stay warmer. Uh, it's not doing it any justice. That moon is so big and so bright right now. This GoPro is not liking it. Got street lights slowly getting back into civilization. Well, just about finished now. I think uh, well, I definitely made the train. I might have actually gotten in half an hour early, and uh, it's gonna be close, but I might catch an even earlier train, which would be amazing. But uh, I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. Still got to finish this route. I mean, I'll definitely say that this is the hardest thing I've ever done on a bike before. But, big but, I was actually expecting it to be worse. There were definitely some low points. But, all things considered, I'm feeling pretty decent. Which is, uh, I don't know, a bit shocking. I definitely came into this under-trained. 
I haven't really been riding as much as I'd like to ride over the last month or so. Now, whether or not I'll feel good for the uh, Granite Anvil in a week and a half, 1200, that remains to be seen. I know I can do the one day distance, but what I don't know is the accumulated fatigue of riding big days day after day after day. So, still a little scared, but uh, this is giving me hope. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Sorry.